welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. It's the gloomiest day ever here, but I don't care. We don't care. We're keeping the good vibes. If you notice my nose is a little red. I came down with like a little cold. Obviously it was from my weekend out with Annie because every single time I just like go on a bender weekend and go out Friday night and Saturday night, I always get sick. I get so run down. And we literally slept um, three hours if you watched my last vlog on Saturday night. So yeah, that's wonderful. So I was sick like the beginning of this week and today's the first day that I like feel better, but that's why I look like Rudolph in case you are wondering. This vlog is going to be like the preparation to see your long distance boyfriend vlog, you know, and like all the girls that have done long distance, like, you know what I mean. And if it's not long distance, it's like the first time you're hanging out with a guy that you really like, like all the prep that goes into it, the nails, the hair wash, the self tan, like all of the nitty gritty to make you glow up for when you see him, that's what this vlog is going to be. So my boyfriend is still at school at Ohio State, as most of you guys know, playing hockey there, and they are playing a hockey game against the University of Connecticut, which is only like a two hour drive from my home. So I am going to be making the trip this weekend, tomorrow actually. Yeah, I'm making the trip for his game. A lot of his family is from the Northeast and they're making the trip to his game too. So Jake's gonna have like 16 fans there I'm pretty sure for an away game for his hope his school which is hilarious but amazing I also probably am like barely going to see him because away games like there's no time to see him except for like after the game and then the next morning like maybe for like a hello like sit and have like a fruit cup and then after the game again and then like sometimes when they travel they'll stay overnight and I was like really hoping that they were going to but they are not this time their Saturday games actually at 4 p.m. and then they're flying back to Columbus Ohio so like I'm literally barely gonna see him but you know after feeling sick for a couple of days like we just we need a glow up anyways just to like get my self confidence back because I've looked like a potato the last four days and eaten like a potato and felt like a potato and I haven't worked out in two weeks unrelated to the sickness I've just been lazy so we're gonna glow up together we're gonna glow up to go to Hartford Connecticut together <laughs> nothing like it baby right now I'm going to get my nails done first stop of the get ready tour I'm going to get my nails done because they are just mm, not yummy not yummy at all if I just saw a picture of my nails I'd probably think I was a construction worker so we're gonna go to my favorite place to get my nails done um, if I'm in the city I usually go to mini Lux, but I'm not in the city so I'm going to go to Medford nail bar they know how to do like new cool styles and they're so fast I hate sitting down getting my nails done for so 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 long it's so boring oh also I meant to bring my headphones and I didn't mm, too late I'm literally sitting in my driveway but too late so I've been putting it off but then I was like you know what I need it and I'm gonna get acrylics because I need to like feel pretty again and like these nubs like all the paint in the world the prettiest color the prettiest Taylor Bieber chrome brown in the world couldn't make these nails look cute so we are getting fake nails put on today that is the end of it so so welcome to the vlog <laughs> I hope you guys enjoy so I think this is my first vlog with my Botox and filler that I got actually it might be the second vlog this is like the first vlog of the healing process being done I think I think it I'm like saying that and I'm like actually my lips still looks a little bruised but I want to be fully transparent because I know how much people can struggle with body image and like for me like the worst I ever feel about myself is when I compare myself to others so like I don't want you guys to sit here and think that like I looked like this like I did not I got like eyebrow evening Botox I think it's called the eyebrow lift I got like eyebrow evening Botox in my you can't even see it right now forehead like my eyebrows used to be way more uneven that just like kind of fixed them but she also just did baby Botox like for the lines that I had and now they're gone and I also got 
I think I got like 0.7. I got a bit more than 0.5 into my lips because I, she was like, I don't think you're gonna notice a difference with 0.5. So I got like 0.7. She did like mostly in the top lip, but also a, a bit in the bottom just so that they looked even. I went to Bare Meta Aesthetics in Wakefield, Massachusetts, specifically to Angela. Angela is the founder, she's the co-owner, and she's the best. And like, I would specifically recommend Angela because she like made me feel so comfortable, talked me through the whole process, like did not push me to get make me get anything I didn't want to get like literally she was just like what do you feel insecure about that you want me to try to help and I was like I hate that like my I don't really have an upper lip and like it goes away fully when I smile it makes me really insecure and then like my eyebrows being very even also like that was probably like my number one insecurity I didn't even know she could fix that I was just telling her about it and then she's like okay well we offer this this this, and this and I just wanted like the least amount of everything like the most natural looking least dramatic change just because it was my first time getting something done and I was like so scared I was gonna come out of it and be like I don't know look like the mom from a Cinderella story you know what I mean so that's what I did and I promise you like anything I ever get done I will tell you guys about I'll be fully transparent about because I know how much like comparison to people you see in person but also on the internet like can affect your mental health it's happened to me more times than i can count so like i'm not gonna hide it because there's no point in hiding it like i want you guys to know but also like if you have any questions about it and you've ever considered it like shoot me a dm on instagram i'll answer it and like also you could just dm angela too because she knows way more than i do but like i could just like talk you more about what it was like as like a um virgin botox girl <laughs> I guess you could say um but that's all I got and not that like more would have been a bad thing like I, I don't judge anyone based on what they get done I just hope that whenever people get stuff done they're fully transparent about it because I've seen people lie and it's just it's not good for your viewers mental health so that's it if you have any questions please comment please dm me I'm more than happy to answer them I hope it you guys think it looks good and you're not like how what the fuck did you do but I think it's so so little that like I don't think if I said it people would notice which is why it was so important to me to be honest about it because I'm like it's so subtle but it is like in my opinion it was something that didn't look good and now looks better but it's like she wasn't born like this she didn't wake up like this <laughs> I did wake up like this today but she wasn't born but you know okay maybe it's Maybelline maybe it's I don't know what the name of the filler was but <laughs> maybe it's bare metastatics Okay, now off to the nail salon. Sorry, this was the longest intro ever. I promise the vlog's gonna be way more fun. Okay. Hope you guys, I am unwell. I am unfucking well. <laughs> I went to pay for my nails. I went to pay for my nails. They look so good, like slay. I went to pay for my nails and I can't find my debit card. And I'm like, that's weird. Like maybe it's just like stuffed in my wallet. Like I use a teeny tiny wallet. I'm like, hmm, that's kind of weird. Oh no. It's not weird. It's not stuffed. It's not hidden. It's at the Broadway. It is at the Broadway in South Boston from Saturday night. It is Thursday. It's Thursday. How did I not realize? I left my car there on Saturday night. And I was literally next door in Southie yesterday and I could have gotten it and I just didn't know. So now I'm on my way into Boston, a 30 minute freaking drive to get my stupid debit card from Thursday night. Oh my God. I deserve this. Honestly, I deserve this drive of shame because I'm an idiot. Hi guys. So I know I kind of left the vlog off a bit abruptly, abruptly, abruptly abruptly but to be honest I actually had a really scary experience tonight um when I was at the Prudential Center which is like the big mall in Boston I'm like shaking still talking about it um I was getting followed by a man and that's the extent of it that I know what we're speculating is that like it might have been for a bigger purpose like he might have been trying to rob me. Like, I, I don't know. And I don't want to just sit here and think about the what ifs. But basically, we had to call security. We, tomorrow morning, have a call with, like, the head of security to get tapes and stuff. I'm okay. That's, like, the most important thing. But, like, had I not been a thousand percent aware of my surroundings at the time, I don't know. Like, it, 
what would have happened. I just like had a pit in my stomach before it even happened. I literally have texts with my boyfriend that's like, I'm so anxious right now. There's a lot of like, a lot of people around. Like I just feel really off. I just like had a gut feeling and then I ended up getting followed into the woman's bathroom by a man. And yeah, so that's just like your reminder. Like the Prue was so packed. I never thought like anything could have happened because there were so many people. And then I get to like the one corner of the Prue where like there was nobody. And um, it was like really, really scary and I'm still really shaken up by it. Um, but thankfully I'm okay and like, I will never, ever, ever be going anywhere without my pepper spray ever again. I got my pepper spray at um, Dick's Sporting Goods. So if you have a Dick's Sporting Goods, please go get some for yourself. I think they call it like wilderness spray, like for bears. And you just have to be 18. So like if you're not 18, have a parent go get it for you. Like you, you need it. I have these little, I'll show you them, these little pink ones. They have a lock on it so it doesn't like spray. I'm literally bringing it everywhere with me. I don't care if I'm alone. I don't care if I'm with a group of 30 people. Like, it's worth it to, like, never feel, like, as, like, nervous and defenseless as I felt tonight. Um, but I am okay. I'm unharmed. Like, obviously, I'm still, like, scared mentally, but I'm unharmed. And we are gonna go through tapes with security tomorrow to make sure that this man never goes back there and, like, this, nothing... Like, this ever happens to another girl and nothing worse ever happens to another girl or anybody for that matter. So, this is just a reminder. Like, I know it's always said and you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, don't be walking around alone just looking at your phone. Like, the fact that I'm okay is 10,000% because I was so aware and I wasn't on my phone. And I wasn't talking to anybody. I wasn't texting. I wasn't on TikTok. Like, that's the reason I'm okay right now. So, please, please, please remember that. Even if it's you and a buddy, if you're both on your phones, nobody's being aware. So please remember that. Sorry for the negativity. I'm going to go to bed because I'm mentally and physically exhausted now. This wasn't how I was planning to spend my night. I thought I was going to be well prepared and have a self-care night and scrub and get myself tanner on. Um, but that's not the case. But that's okay. That's life. Life throws you curveballs. And... It's okay, I'm okay, so I'm just gonna, like, try to calm down and go to bed and just wake up a bit earlier tomorrow, and I will continue getting ready and continue vlogging on a happier note, but just take it as a reminder to always, always, always be safe. Also, we can look at my nails. I don't think I ever got to show you guys my nails. Here they are. <laughs> they came out so cute, I actually love them. Oh, also, I did successfully get my... ID back from the Broadway, so thank you to the Broadway for holding my ID for a week, because I know some places probably would have cut it up by now. So, thank you guys for holding it and getting that back to Mama. Thanks for the hospitality the last five weeks. Hopefully they didn't charge me rent on the card, but yeah, that's all I have in me for tonight. I need to do eye patches tomorrow, because I've been crying so much tonight. Love you all. And I will talk to you all in the morning. Good night. Mwah. Good morning, guys. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new life. But it is quite literally the crappiest day weather-wise I have, like, ever seen in my entire life. It has been downpouring all morning. But I think that's going to change because the weather, like, where we're going is a bit nicer. And I think that weather is, like, coming here. So, hopefully, the sun will come out and it'll be nicer. I just showered. I washed my hair this morning. My, I did a full, full, full shower. Like, the full you're going to see your man shower. I used, like, a full body, one of those, like, dip scrubs. It's not tree hut because I'm allergic to tree hut. It's something else. Um, if anybody wants it, just ask and I'll figure it out. I use the Olaplex shampoo, conditioner, and purple shampoo, which is why all my yellow is gone. Hopefully there's like not remainders of purple. I've used this purple shampoo like three times now. And the other three times, like there was a bit of purple left in. And I think that was just because I was using it wrong. I think my old purple shampoo, you were supposed to leave it in for like 8 to 10 minutes. So I thought that's what you were supposed to do with the Olaplex one. But the Olaplex one says 1 to 3 minutes. So I came out with like fully lavender hair, which is just mm, 
not cute. I usually use my purple shampoo when I know I'm gonna wear my clip-in extensions because they're like very platinum. So that's why I did it this morning. I'm tanning like my neck and my chest right now. I'm gonna put tanner on my face, but I had to do eye patches because like I said, I was crying a lot last night. And <laughs> my eyes were very puffy this morning. I have my Peter Thomas Roth eye patches. I get the cucumber ones. They come in a pack of 30 pairs. So 60 patches and like technically you could use it for one side and then flip it over I just use them at the same time because I chill mine. I leave this in the fridge I actually need to put this new one in the fridge because I just finished my old pack. Yes, I feel like this is very ASMR of me But I need to put this one in the fridge because I chill mine I think it makes the dark circles go away more if they're colder and it also helps depuff like I do ice roll on my face every single morning to depuff and it helps so much so like chilling your eye patches just makes so much sense to me have a nice pimple patch on hero pimple patches because mount vesuvius decided to show up on my face this morning for morning productivity it's at a pretty high level i've pulled out like some th these are all like my bed is made these are all jackets and like osu hats and a hoodie and like t-shirts that I might want to bring. I'm literally gonna be there like in Connecticut for maybe 24 hours, but in my head, that's for outfits. Am I gonna overpack? Yes, just a necessity at this point. Already behind schedule, which is just fabulous. I mean, this is just like a freaking masterpiece, if I do say so myself. <laughs> wow, it's giving Marilyn Monroe. Almost three hours in. <laughs> How are we feeling? In one undrinkable Starbucks along the way. We had to stop because I had to pee wicked bad. And my mom got a coffee and she said it was lukewarm. No, it was undrinkable. Undrinkable. <laughs> Zero out of 10. Zero. But we're finally almost there. Absolutely. Yeah, it's been a beautiful ride. Beautiful. Dad got a weird water. Ethos water, never heard of it. <laughs> Because we had to get something so that we could pee. Does it taste bad? No, it's just weird. It's just weird. It's some weird Connecticut water. But the ride was gorgeous, so no complaints. It was. No complaints. I mean, a bit of complaints that it took a whole extra hour. My fault. For but no reason. I thought I was smarter than Wayne's. But the scenic, the scenic It was, was the scenic route, and it was beautiful. It was. And I hope you guys enjoyed the B-roll, because it took us an extra hour. We already missed our dinner reservation, so we are rushing left here. Not that one. This, yeah, this lane. Just follow the mo motorcycle. Um, we already missed our dinner reservation. It started 20 minutes ago, and we're still 15 minutes from the hotel. So we're just going to improvise before the game. Yeah, that's one less margarita. That's yeah, okay. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> so we have just gotten to the room, already made quite home of it. Dumped everything in the bed already. I didn't realize I've already stayed here before when I worked for BU's team And then I walked in and I was like, oh this looks so familiar, but now we are speed getting ready Because we are a little delayed a delay of game We had the speediest get ready time in history And now we're walking across the street because there's a capital grill right there and I feel like 
Mama might need a martini. I've never had a martini before in my life. You haven't? No. Well, it's time. I might just need a martini to get the night rolling. Yeah, it was a long road trip. It was a so. long road trip. We got it and we don't have that much time until warm up, so. It's definitely like across this way. Cheers. Little pre-game meal, french fries, lobster mac and cheese, and prosciutto, and a Moscow mule. Cheers. Hey guys, welcome to the Ava and Cat Camp. Welcome to the Good morning. Good morning. As you can tell from my nose, it's freezing out. We're going on a little walk. Gonna get some breakfast. Not sure what this vibe is gonna be, but we'll find out. This is so cute. Thank you. This breakfast sandwich, woo! And that's it, that's a wrap. Yukon, mm -hmm. we came, we saw, we didn't really conquer, but we came. The last one is here. We did have fun. Good night to all and to all. A good night. A good flight home. Bye everyone. Just got home. We are home safe and sound. It's Saturday night and I'm taking my makeup off and going to bed because I'm exhausted, but great weekend in good old Hartford, Connecticut. I was sad saying bye to Jake, but I'm going to see him in two weeks, so it's fine, it's fine. Thank you guys so much for watching another vlog. We love you all so much, and hopefully I will see you all in my next one. Bye!